Seat belts are one of the most important aspects of driver safety in Formula 1. In this video, we will explore the design, function and evolution of the F1 seat belt. Let's get started. Let's start by looking at the history of seat belts in Formula 1. Believe it or not, in the early days of Formula 1 in the 1950s, seat belts were not worn. Drivers preferred to run the risk of being thrown out of the car on crashing rather than being trapped in the cockpit. Drivers and race organizers at this time believed that seat belts would trap the driver in the event of a fire or if the car rolled over. However, some drivers were proponents of seat belts. As an example, Sir Jackie Stewart pushed for improved F1 safety in the 1960s but was often criticized for his efforts. It was not until the early 1970s that changes started to take place. In 1972, a six-point safety harness became mandatory in Formula One. Today's Formula One regulations stipulate that it is mandatory to wear two shoulder straps, one abdominal strap, and two straps between the legs. Sticking to what was introduced in the 1970s, modern seatbelts have a six-point harness to accommodate the required straps. Before each Grand Prix weekend, every seatbelt is inspected by the FIA. Mainly, checks are performed to ensure that the seatbelt has not expired and that there are not any signs of wear and tear. Yes, each seatbelt does have an expiry date. The seatbelts used in Formula One are valid for five years plus the year of production. The FIA production process requires seatbelts to pass certain braking loads, elongation rates, abrasion resistance, and corrosion resistance, as well as pass a dynamic crash sled test. Five-year validity of seatbelts is possible due to the polyester webbing used to make the belts. Polyester webbing has a much higher UV resistance than nylon, as well as more resistance to water, oil, and other contaminants. Polyester is also superior to nylon in controlling elongation rates with less stretch, creating less of a rubber band effect. This helps increase the belt's lifespan. The belt buckles are made out of titanium. Now let's look at some other interesting facts about Formula One seat belts. An F1 driver cannot put on his own seatbelt. An engineer must assist the driver in putting on the seatbelt to ensure that it's securely fastened. Drivers are tightly fitted against their seats, so it can often become hard for them to breathe. This is one of the reasons why fitness is very important for a Formula 1 driver. F1 seatbelts can be easily undone. The driver just has to twist a knob and the seatbelts come loose. This feature was created so that the driver can easily get out in the event of a fire. Prior to the start of the season, F1 drivers are required to take a time test in which they prove that they can unbuckle the seatbelt and come to a standing position in less than 5 seconds. Seatbelts cannot be undone during a Grand Prix. This seems to be common sense, but drivers are often caught unbuckling their seatbelts after the end of a Grand Prix. The most recent incident occurred in the 2021 Brazilian Grand Prix when Lewis Hamilton was waving to his fans after the race. He was caught unbuckling his seatbelt prior to returning to the pit lane and was fined for his actions. Hope this video helped you learn more about Formula 1 seatbelts. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula 1 content.